Okay, on this video we are going to convert between different forms of the equation of a line. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find the slope of a line through those two points. So we have our slope formula and I'm going to designate this as x1 and y1, x2 and y2 in order to find the slope of a line. So after using our slope formula, all right, we found out that our slope is 2. So the next thing that I'm going to do is we are going to use the point slope form of the equation of a line. And since there are two points up here, we can use either one of these two points. I'm erasing this because they were designated in order to find the slope. I am now going to take the first point here and I'm going to use 1 comma 9 and I'm going to designate this x1 and y1 same way it was before but now I can just substitute into this equation y minus 9 equals 2 times x minus 1 and that is done for the point slope form of the equation of line now I want to do the other point as well, 7 comma 21. And I'm going to make this x1 and y1. And my point slope form for this one is y minus 21 equals 2 times x minus 7. Okay, and these are done as far as point slope form for the equation of a line goes. Next we are going to take that and convert it to the slope intercept form of the equation of a line. And in order to do that, all you need to do is to multiply one of these out and solve for y. So we need to distribute here, add 9 to both sides, and you get y equals 2x plus 7. Okay? you chose to multiply this one out, you would still end up at y equals 2x plus 7. So we've done the point slope form of the equation of the line. We have the slope intercept form for the equation of the line. Now let's convert this slope intercept form of the equation of the line to the standard form. Standard form for the equation of the line, ax plus by is equal to c, which means move the x values to the left, the y values to the left, constants to the right. So we are going to take this right here, y equals 2x plus 7, and we're going to put it in to standard form. So I need to, let me just move over here so we have a little bit of room. Subtract 2x from both sides. So you have negative 2x plus y is equal to 7. All right, now this looks like it is in the right form. And one little trick they have is the first number is not supposed to be a negative. So in order to get rid of that, we're going to multiply everything by negative 1, which just changes all the signs in the problem. And that is our standard form for the equation of the line. Okay? So point-slope form, point-slope form, slope-intercept form, standard form. Next problem. Let's take a equation that is already in point slope form and let's change this to slope intercept form. So what we need to do is distribute this. So we have y minus 8 equals negative 2 thirds x and then negative 2 thirds times positive 6 which is negative 4. I'm going to add 8 to both sides and we have y equals negative two-thirds x plus four. Okay, and then you are done. That is your final answer in slope-intercept form. Now let's take this slope-intercept form and put it into standard form, which is ax plus by is equal to c. So we are going to take this equation 
We're going to add two-thirds x to both sides. This cancels out, so you get two-thirds x plus y is equal to 4. This is great. The first number is the positive, which is what we want. Now, another rule that they've put in place is that you are not supposed to have any fractions in this problem. That's easy enough to get rid of. We're going to just multiply everything by this denominator right here, because 3 times 2 thirds x ends up being 2x. 3 times y is plus 3y, and 3 times 4 is 12. And that is your finished version. I have to put the y in there. That's your finished version in standard form. So we had point slope form, slope intercept form, standard form. Let's try this equation, which is in slope intercept form, and let's write this in standard form. AX plus BY is equal to C. So we need to subtract 4x from both sides. We need to move the x's and y's to one side of the equation. So this becomes negative 4x plus y is equal to negative 7. Remember, the beginning is not supposed to be a negative, so we're going to multiply everything by negative 1. So this becomes 4x minus y equals 7, and that is converted to standard form. I hope you found this video informative, and I will see you on the next video.